In this show, I'm gonna show you two ways to use the Amazon Subscribe and Save program to increase repeat customers for your product or products. This is a great program and it's important to utilize it in order to grow both your customer base, but to increase your turnover and to sell more, right? So we're gonna go get into it right now. I'm gonna show you things in my own account. I am an Amazon seller as well as consultant and coach uh, for other Amazon sellers. Now, what I'm showing you here on the screen is a product that I actually use myself. So what you can see here is the Horbach has a 5% discount. This is an automatic subscribe and save discount that Amazon will offer, whether you participate in the subscribe and save program or not. And usually Amazon will attach that to a product that you tend to keep in inventory at Amazon for at least a month. I see it on a lot of products once I had inventory, steady inventory on that product after about a month or 45 days or even 60 days, all of a sudden Amazon's offering a 5% discount that's automatic but then you see here you see this other ashwagandha product with 15% so what that means is the actual brand owner the seller is not only getting the 5% from Amazon but they're throwing another 10% on top in order to increase those subscriptions because Wow, if you can get somebody, especially a product like this, to basically re-up every month or every two months, and they're gonna be buying it forever, you know, you're gonna increase the LTV, your lifetime value of customer. So I'm gonna show you in my account how to set this up for yourself, but that's what this seller is doing. Now here's the actual pro tip on top of this. So you got the pro tip of adding 10% on top of Amazon's subscribe and save, but now what you can see is these sellers are doing the advanced technique that what they're doing is having the coupon not just off the first purchase, okay? Like you buy it and you get 10% off and then you're gone, you're never coming back. They're requiring in order to get the 10% off coupon on your first purchase, that you actually subscribe on your first purchase. And that's genius because that technique will explode your repeat customer base, especially if you had set that for 30% off. Now, could you imagine that? How fast you would explode your repeat customer uh, base. And that's what you need to do. So I, in this show, I'm gonna show you how to set your subscribe and save, where you need to do it. And then I'm gonna show you how to set up a coupon on a product for that additional percentage. All right, but you see it here in real practice on these uh, products. I'm gonna go into my account now and we're gonna take a look at it. This is my seller account, but this is, uh, this is my subscribe and save. So the account has, this is the sales. Actually, this is one particular product. Uh, this is an olive oil I sell. So in any given month, I'm selling $3,000 in subscribe and saves just uh, on that product. Last year, it was at $840. Now, why did that grow 400% from July of last year to July of this year? Because I added the 10%. You know, so Amazon was getting five. When I added 10, you can see last year how the growth was like, every month it was like 800, 600, 1,000, 900, uh, 1,200, back down to 800. Uh, so last year, there was no growth. It was like a churn, right? People would get the 5% from Amazon and then cancel. But when I, uh, late last year, I turned a lot of my products where the margins are, are there, I turned on an extra 10% and that where you saw it with that, that ashwagandha product and I had a massive increase of subscribing saves on this particular product. So let me show you how to get to this section. So from Seller Central, go to that gear icon in the upper right, go to Fulfill by Amazon. Okay, this is where you're gonna find the program. Scroll all the way down and click on Edit for subscribe and save. You can see subscribe and save on the left. And here is the subscribe and save. You can see the products I have. You can see the performance dashboard. And in the performance dashboard, you can enter the SKU here. Here is my overall performance, and this is on a weekly basis, but I like to switch it to month. 
just to see the big picture. And you can see that my sales on subscribe and save for this account is $31,000 a month. Last year it was 14,000. And you can see the quantity of subscribe and saves every month they go up 100 to 200 subscribe and saves. So that's where, uh, that's where you go to see the analytics, but then to manage a product, you can see all your products here that are active. And what I can do is I can click on choose seller discount on the right. And if I wanted to add a little sweetener to this, I could choose five or 10% and confirm the discount. And then that would basically say Amazon's contributing five and I'm either gonna do five or 10% on top. That is going to increase your subscribe and save base dramatically on every product that you sell, okay? That's the first step. After you add that, now how do you really, really explode your subscribe and save base? And I just started using this and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the results, but what you need to do is you need to set up a coupon, all right? So once you set up the subscribe and save, then go to the left-hand side, go to advertising, go to coupons, okay? And you're gonna create a new coupon, okay? And here it is. This is where you set up the subscribe and save coupon. You click on this and then you add your product to the coupon. So this is how you get the double uh, bonus for your customer. You can increase the conversion on your listing dramatically with all these discounts. Now it is gonna hurt your margins initially, but you know if you think about uh, it in a different perspective, to get a new customer, how much does it cost, right? If your A cost is 20% or 30% on a $40 product, to get that customer at 30% A cost, costs you $12, okay? So on average, you're paying $12 to get new customers. Now, you know, that could be conservative. Maybe you're in a product launch and your A cost is 100 or 200% in the launch phase. So if it's 200% and your product's $40, it's $80 to get a new customer, right? Now you wanna keep them, right? So what if you said, hey, um, I'm gonna do 30% coupon if you subscribe and save plus 10% okay on future orders and amazon's kicking in five what's that going to do to your conversion rate maybe your a cost goes from 200 to 50 percent or 80 percent or 100 percent but even if you improved your a cost by 100 points 100 percent and your product's 40 bucks you're going to save 40 dollars on that sale you're going to get way more customers because your conversion rate's going to go up and all it's going to cost you on top is $12, right? 30% of $40 is $12. So you save 40 bucks, you actually are gonna sell a lot more and you're gonna create a lot of uh, repeat customers. So that's it guys. Those are the two things you wanna do to increase repeat customers on Amazon. Thanks for joining me guys. If you're interested, if you need some coaching, check out my website. There's a link in the description. If you need some help with products or listing advice or whatever you need, again, check out my website. You can book me there. But I appreciate you watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next week.